Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Charles, and today we're going to be doing the second video in our Cloud Detection Lab series in Azure. So we navigate to our lab document. The resources we're going to be deploying in the video today are going to be our Windows 10 virtual machine, where we're going to be using that later on in the series to generate security events. Uh, we're going to log those events and send that to a log analytics workspace, where we will be storing the logs, connect those logs to the Sentinel instance. All that will be tied to a resource group, which is simply just a logical container for storing related resources in Azure. And our Windows 10 virtual machine will, once it's deployed, have a virtual network tied to it, as well as a network security group, which we'll go over later on in this video. So the first thing you need to do before you start deploying the Azure resources is to create your free Azure account. If you don't know how to do this, just go to our lab document, and there should be a link underneath part one. Once you click that link, it should have everything you need to get started, and it should be pretty straightforward. From there, you're gonna to come to the Azure portal, which is this main screen you see right here. And this is basically where you're gonna be interacting with all your Azure resources and services. The first thing we need to do is create our resource group. So we're gonna come up here, click resource groups, click create, let's give it a name. We're gonna click review and create, and then create. Just like that, we created our resource group. Now we're gonna create our virtual machine. Let's tie it to our resource group. Let's give it a name. Keep the instance details the same. Give it a username and password. We're gonna keep these settings for RDP the same since we need RDP to connect to the virtual machine. Let me go to review and create. Come back here, gotta to agree to the licensing agreement. Create the VM. And our deployment has succeeded. Next up, we're gonna go take a look at our VM we just created. As you can see here, we have some information about the VM, such as the resource group. We have the public IP address, which is gonna be important for when we connect to the virtual machine. However, when we come to our networking tab, this is our network security group that we kind of touched on in the intro video. And basically, these are just a kind of a list of rules that dictate access uh, to and from the VM. So these are our inbound port rules. So you see this first rule here, we've got RDP for port 3389. Um, basically, it's gonna allow any RDP connection into the VM. And that's kind of dangerous because with this VM being out on the internet, in the cloud, this makes it a candidate for some type of brute force or password spray attack as long as somebody does a scan and is able to obtain this IP address. So we want to be able to lock down access to this virtual machine and still have this port open, but only have access when it's needed and for authorized users. So we're going to achieve that through implementing something called just-in-time access. So in order to do that, we're going to come up here, we're going to go to Microsoft Defender for Cloud. This is kind of like um, an Azure, Azure service that allows you to kind of check your overall security posture in Azure. It has a lot of cool settings to kind of enhance your security. So we're going to come to this section over here, our, subs our subscription. As you can see, we've got two plans. We've got what we have now, which is enhanced security off. And then we've got enable Microsoft Defender for cloud plans, and it's got our just-in-time VM access that we need to be able to lock down um, access to the VM. So what we're gonna do is click this, click save.
and that should turn on the plan. You get a free trial with it when you start your Azure account. So at no cost to you, you're able to enable this. We're gonna go back to Microsoft Defender for Cloud. Let's hit refresh. All right, as you can see on the left-hand side, it's no longer grayed out. So now what we wanna do is go to workload protections. Still says that we are not protected by Microsoft Defender for Cloud. So it's gonna take a little bit of time for uh, the plan to actually update and uh, be current so you can use the settings. So we're just gonna wait for that. All right, so we're back. As you can see now that when we go to workload protections, we get this screen, which again, as I was saying, is kind of just shows you kind of your overall security posture in Azure. So it kind of shows uh, what's covered, what's not covered in terms of uh, certain things being installed, certain compliance things being met. But the one thing we want to do is uh, lock down access to that virtual machine. So what we're going to do is go back to our virtual machines. Lab VM is the one we just created. We're going to go to connect. And we're going to click this option to enable just in time access on the VM. Hit this blue button here. As you can see, it says just-in-time access was successfully enabled for the VM. Now, if we come back to our networking tab, as you can see, the rule set is a little different. We have this security center rule that is going to deny any traffic coming into the VM uh, via port 3389, and that allow any rule for RDP has, has been moved below it. And what's gonna happen is because of the rule priority, this is always gonna execute first before we can get to this rule. But now in order to actually connect to this VM, what we need to do is come to the connect tab. As you can see, we've got the public IP, we've got the port number. And what we can do is just allow certain IPs to connect and request access to this VM. So we can do my IP. And what that's gonna do is gonna take the IP from the PC that you're using and only allow that IP to connect upon requesting access. So no other IP will be able to connect to this VM except yours, it's a pretty cool feature to lock down access. So we're gonna go ahead and click, click request access. Another cool thing about just-in-time access is that it works off RBAC rules. So when you do create your Azure account, you are a global administrator, so that kind of gives you all the privileges to do things in Azure. But say you only wanted, you know, you're an organization, and you only want certain people to have access to a VM, you can lock it down to certain rules. So when you request that access, it'll kind of evaluate what role the person has and then allow or deny access based off that, which is another cool feature. So as you can see, it says access is approved on port 3389 for the selected IPs. So now we're gonna to go to networking. As you can see here, it's probably blurred out by the time of this video, but the security center rule is updated once again and it's going to allow traffic from only my IP to the uh, virtual machine. So we have all that set up. The next thing we need to do is set up our log analytics workspace. That's where we're gonna be storing the logs that come from this virtual machine. So it's gonna come up here, type in log analytics workspace. create we're going to add it to our resource group let's give it a name hit review and create As you can see, our deployment is complete. The last step will be to connect our Sentinel instance to the Log Analytics workspace. So first we need to create that Sentinel instance. So let's come up here, select Microsoft Sentinel, I click Create Microsoft Sentinel. It's gonna ask us for a workspace to connect to. So we've got this right here. Click Add. And there you go.
we have just set up our virtual machine, our log analytics workspace, and our Sentinel instance. So that's the conclusion of this video. If you found this helpful, make sure to leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.